K-Rock Almost Acoustic Christmas 2016. Artist interview. I, I have the entire uh, band Strumbellas, which I'm so glad you all came out. So we have Dave and Daryl and John and Izzy and Simon and Jeremy. Nailed it. Got us all. Got it. Crushed it. I love it. Um, you guys, uh, I feel like we're passing ships in the night because you guys played Weenie Roast, which I saw you play, but then I never got to say hello. So this is my moment to actually do hello. it. Hello. Hello. I've never, How are you? I've never heard this saying, passing ships in the night. Is that like a California thing or is that a thing thing? No. Oh, that's a real that's expression. A thing. Oh, it's usually yeah. a romantic thing, but, you like, know. Oh, you mean like catching alligators by the pond? That kind of saying. What? Gotcha. <laughs> what say no more. I'm with you. <laughs> Don't listen to anything yeah. Simon says. Wait, say oh. cats, cats and alligators by the pond? You never heard that one. No. Oh. Yeah. Is that because alligators will eat the cats? Obviously. Oh, my That's God. That's exactly what it is. All right, good. Are these, like, Canadian sayings that I should be, like, stocking up no, on? No, it's just Simon. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen to anything yeah. he says. Um, you guys, I just want to, I think you have one of the most fun Twitter accounts. You seem to be enjoying every second of what you're doing. Even when, who's losing at fantasy football? Oh, the me, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I would no. Well, actually, I was undefeated for the whole season, and then I bragged about it on our uh, band Twitter account, and then I immediately started losing. And I'm going to lose this week too. Pride goes so before a, a fall. There's a lesson out there for you, Facebook Live. Don't brag about stuff on Twitter. You were so excited, and it was great. And then to watch the, the follow up is like, oh, I know, really sad, sad. I know. That's sort of like that's sort of like my life. I get really excited, and then the follow up's really disappointing. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> oh my God! I uh, I was looking at your itinerary, and you guys have a show called Kids Rock. What's what's that all about? What's happening? Well, uh, Simon and I both have kids, and okay. Simon was a teacher before the band. Really? Teaching kids. What did so, you teach? Like like little ones, little kids. But what did you teach? Oh, like oh, all no, subjects? Uh, yeah, all subjects. But you must have been a favorite teacher, though. Uh, not really. Oh, come on. <laughs> you think, but no, I wasn't great at it. <laughs> it's the substitute teacher. It's tough. Right? Okay. So, but we just, uh, we've always, and we just have a lot of uh, kid fans, so we thought it would be appropriate to, we always kind of get requests for, you know, all ages shows so that kids can come out. Sometimes oh. we, we can't meet that request, so we've, we've done that here. Well, so it's like an afternoon kind of yeah. gig. That's yeah. part of it, but okay. we're also just trying to weasel money out of the kids. Like well, that's that's the most important. Show thing. them the way of life early. Yeah, like, like it's all life, disposable kid. income at that point. <laughs> life you know? costs money, kid. Get with it. <laughs> I just heard you're Canadian. You're out. You like heard that. it? Out. We're yeah. trying to hide it in California. Oh, you heard you it from Daryl. Surprise, don't hide surprise. It. surprise. Yeah. Don't hide it. It adds flavor to the scenery. I like it. It's good. Izzy, I want to ask you, um, being uh, the only gal in this crew. Uh, who is the worst at stealing your moisturizer and stuff like that? Because I know you guys are doing it. I know what's happening. Actually, I kind of want to turn that around. I'll okay. say um, when I forget moisturizer, I go to Jeremy. He always has the best stocked uh, toiletry <laughs> kit. Like he's got, you know, if anyone loses anything, he got toothpaste, shampoo, body wash, moisturizer. I can't hear what she's saying. I don't have the headphones on. She's he, saying nice things, right? Yes, you have okay. great skin. Okay. It's, yes. it's awesome. It shows. Yeah. Thank you, Izzy. That's very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the last time you guys stopped by K-Rock, because you've made a couple appearances, I think we even tortured you and made you do a Kevin and Bean performance in the morning, which, bless you people for getting up that early. It's really hard. Especially to sing, like, that's the worst possible thing to do, I think, at that Or early maybe, night. at that point, maybe it was just stand up that late. I don't totally remember, but <laughs> you never know. <laughs> well, we had an interview with you, and uh, I think it was you, Simon, you said... This was the be this was the beginning of this year back in February. You said you were hoping to meet Meatloaf and Alex Ebert. Yes. Have we achieved the dream? Has we've, it we've happened? We've achieved half of the dream. Which half? Um, not the Meatloaf half. Oh, that's a hard but one. But I got to meet Alex Ebert twice, and the worst part about it is, is I totally spooked him, and now he thinks I'm a total weirdo. <laughs> I went too hard and too fast. That's really, that's weird because he's a total weirdo, like, in the best possible way. Not in the conversations we had. He was, like, cool musician, like, you know, love is peace. We're all musicians. I was like, oh my god, what do you eat for breakfast? Oh my god, can I see your underwear? Oh my god, <laughs> you know? So Surprise, surprise, he was a little weirded out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't know if we're going to be friends. I don't, I'm hoping. I'm fingers crossed. Well, maybe it's a lesson learned, so when you Meet the loaf. You will be uh, you reeling in a little bit, right? Uh, you'd think, but <laughs> um, anyone else? I mean, you've been playing festivals, so you must have met some new best friends over the past year, right? Any any 
bands or oh, people time. that have become your favorites? Mumford & Sons. Boom. Met them. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, we just played a show with Head in the Heart. We're fans of them. Great. Um, I met Tom Morello once, and I creeped him out, too. And then... Uh, <laughs> and you were a teacher. This is so weird. I know. I'm really bad with adults. <laughs> I, we met um, Carly Rae Jepsen, and that was a big moment for me. I was was like, it? Yeah. Tom Hanks? <gasps> yes, I met Tom Boom. Hanks. Did you bring up, what did you do? You went straight to Booze and Buddies, didn't you? You didn't even like well, talk about Sully. That's the tricky thing about Tom Hanks is what do you say to him? You have so many options. Life is like a box of chocolates, eh, Tom? Like he's never heard that before. I know. You got, what else do you talk about? You know Simon's I mean? got a lot of fun ones when he meets celebrities where he says things that afterwards, you know, says stuff like that. Life's like a box of chocolates. And then he goes, oh, maybe I should have said that to Tom Hanks. I feel like Simon and I share the same brain because I, I, you know, I stole the line from Dirty Dancing. And say, same, I carried a watermelon. And the same and pattern. And the same, yeah. I wanted to tell you, I really like your Canadian um, blanket. My Canadian, yeah. I had to do this because my outfit's a little too short. I don't want to show the world my... I don't want to make my first sex tape at to Christmas. That would really... Believe me, I know the feeling. <laughs> Um, you guys, so what happens in uh, 2017? Do you guys plan... Oh, you're going to Australia. Yeah, Australia. Um, we have some uh, exciting and probably not announceable um, shows coming up in the summer. And um, yeah, we're just going to um, ride the ship until it just sinks. It's going to be awesome. Now, you guys are on your third record, um, Hope, which is the thing that really kind of got you guys out here. Have you been to Australia before? Never. 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 No. Yeah. Our first ever tour there. That's one of my like, fantasy places to go is Australia. And the funny thing about Australia is because we're Canadian, I'm totally a believer of all the stereotypes. Like I watch videos of like opening the toilet and seeing a giant python come out of the toilet, which I'm sure has only happened like once in the last 15 years. But I'm literally scared of going to Australia just because I think a python is going to attack me. I don't know. It's totally <laughs> irrational, but I, I feel that way. I think, I think you'll be fine. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, so you're just going to continue your tour, and um, what what do you got? Do you got new tunes? Do you guys write on the road, or are you just having too much fun, like goofing off and enjoying every moment? Simon's writing all the time. Um, he's got like thousands of uh, voice memos in his phone. So he's so. like the boring guy on the tour. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get around to you know that kind of stuff. Actually, eventually, I but. think he's the fun guy on the tour. He's like, guys, you got to listen to this. And then he comes in, and he's like, you're on harmonies, you're on harmonies. You get at the tambourine, and he like makes us all make music. Like he just sent out a demo today that we recorded about a month ago on the road and it's crazy and weird and fun and maybe it'll turn into something yeah well um i have a my last question because you know things have been a little weird here in the states are you guys as canadians still okay with maybe some of us coming to visit for an extended period i mean meatloaf can come <gasps> how dare you that's cool <laughs> Yeah, I have an extra room in the basement. Come on up. Oh, my God. That's where my adult life is going to end in someone's basement. In Lindsay, Ontario. It's a prophecy. Uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, you guys go on You go on shortly at 6 o'clock, so I want to let you go so you can do, I don't know, do you do some pre-ritual yoga or something? No. Literally nothing. Yeah. We just sit quietly in a room and don't say anything to each other. You haven't got to that point yet. I'll get you on the record five, and you'll be like, don't look me in the eye before no, we, we put our hands in and we all go one two three blink 182 <laughs> do you really it's our ritual no you don't no. They're, they're tonight no we like who are we, you gonna believe me or those guys i don't know we see other bands doing theirs and we're like ugh. Like we, we're like that's so uncool guys like, I like way to get psyched up for your big show <laughs> this is what i'm talking about i love your attitude and that's why the twitter is amazing it comes through that you guys are just like don't give a shit and just having the best time. No, we're just, I, I'm, I'm usually jealous. I'm like, look, they all look like Fred. They, they're having fun together. It looks great. <laughs> Guys, we should do that. And then everyone's like, Dave, come on. <laughs> You're such a loser. Well, Dave, you need to come on. Um, thank you guys for playing K-Rock Almost Acoustic. This has been uh, a great year for us to have you here. And I know at Weenie Rose, people were going nuts during your set. And it was a sweaty, sweaty time. So they were working it uh, during that heat. So well done. Congratulations, Hope. Third record. It's the Strumbellas, everybody. We are live from the Forum. It's K-Rock's Almost Acoustic Christmas. <laughs>